Fontaine Fifth Wheel is vitally concerned about the safety of our customers and the performance of our products. When you experience the patented safety features and performance advantages of the Fontaine Ultra LT, HD, and HR family of fifth wheels, you will understand how we earn our reputation as the premier supplier of fifth wheels worldwide. In these next few minutes, we will show you the proper coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures for the Fontaine Ultra LT, HD, and HR family of fifth wheels. Begin with a visual inspection to check for damaged or missing parts. The fifth wheel must be securely fastened to the tractor. Pay close attention to welds and areas around bolt holes. Make sure there are no cracks or missing bolts. The top plate surface should be covered with a light coating of grease, making sure the grease grooves are full. Improper lubrication could cause steering problems. If you are using a sliding fifth wheel, make sure the slide locks are fully engaged. Make sure the fifth wheel is in the proper position, tilted down in the rear and resting on the stops. Make sure the area around the vehicle is level, clear of obstacles, and that the trailer wheels are chocked or the spring brakes are engaged. If the trailer is loaded, the cargo must be secured. In order to couple, the fifth wheel must be in the fully open position. To achieve the fully open position, pull the handle all of the way out. When the lock is open, the handle will remain extended. It is not necessary to engage the handle notch for coupling. Engaging the handle notch is only required when you uncouple from a trailer. When the handle is extended and only the tip of the lock bar is visible in the throat of the fifth wheel, the lock is in the open position. If there is any debris such as snow, ice, or excessive grease in the throat of the fifth wheel, it must be removed prior to coupling. Now, inspect the trailer kingpin and kingpin plate for damage and proper lubrication. Make sure the trailer kingpin is not bent or broken. Position the tractor straight in front of the trailer. Using the outside mirrors, check your position by looking down both sides of the trailer. Never back under the trailer at an angle because you might push the trailer sideways, causing damage to the landing gear. Back slowly and stop just before making contact with the trailer. Do not hit the trailer. If you back up too fast, you could cause substantial damage to the trailer and the tractor. Secure the tractor by engaging the parking brake and placing the transmission in neutral. One of the most common mistakes drivers make is attempting to couple with the wrong trailer kingpin height. Proper kingpin to fifth wheel alignment is crucial to avoid damage to the trailer, kingpin, kingpin plate, fifth wheel, and the entire tractor frame, not to mention the driver. If the trailer is too high, the kingpin will not strike the rotating locking jaw and could miss the fifth wheel altogether. If your trailer is too low, you could easily damage the fifth wheel, tractor, and the trailer. If your tractor is equipped with an air ride suspension, make sure the system is inflated before making trailer height adjustments. Never inflate the tractor air ride suspension when the trailer kingpin is above the throat of the fifth wheel, as this is a sure way to damage the fifth wheel and the kingpin. To establish proper coupling height, raise or lower the trailer by adjusting the landing legs. When the tractor and trailer are properly aligned, the leading edge of the trailer strikes the upper portion of the approach ramps. After you have verified proper alignment, use the lowest reverse gear and slowly back the tractor. The trailer will lift slightly and you will hear a distinctive sound as the kingpin engages the fifth wheel. Avoid hitting the kingpin too hard. Now connect the electrical and air lines to the trailer. Raise the trailer landing gear slightly off the ground and perform the tug test. While the trailer brakes are still locked, put the tractor in low and ease out on the clutch just enough to feel the resistance of the load. If the coupling feels secure, place the transmission in neutral, engage the parking brake, and shut off the engine. Now perform a visual inspection. Make sure the pull handle is fully retracted and the lock is engaged. When the pull handle is in the closed position, the indicator notch will be within the lock guide plate area. Warning. If the pull handle indicator notch is not within the lock guide plate area, the lock is not properly closed and the secondary lock has not engaged. Inspect underneath the front of the top plate to verify that the secondary lock is properly engaged. When properly engaged, the secondary lock will be positioned inside the secondary latch toward the center of the fifth wheel. Use a flashlight and go under the trailer and look into the back of the throat of the fifth wheel. The locking mechanism should be engaged, secured to the kingpin. There should be no space between the fifth wheel and the kingpin plate on the trailer. Warning! 
If there is space, the kingpin has not coupled. In that case, lower the landing gear, disconnect the electrical and air lines, and slowly ease the tractor forward until the fifth wheel comes out from under the trailer. Repeat the coupling procedure until there is no space between the fifth wheel and the kingpin plate on the trailer. Now that the trailer coupling is complete, you may need to relocate your fifth wheel for better weight distribution. Make the necessary adjustments by following the Fontaine fifth wheel sliding procedure. Start by locking the trailer brakes. Set the cab control valve in the unlocked position. Visually check to make sure that both locking wedges have released. Pressure on the locking wedges can be relieved by lowering the landing legs. This also allows the fifth wheel to slide with greater ease. Now move the tractor forward or backward slowly to position the fifth wheel. Once the proper position has been acquired, set the cab control valve lever in the off and locked position. Make a visual check to see that both locking wedges are fully engaged in the slide rail castings. Now, fully raise the landing legs and secure the crank handle. Under no condition should you operate the vehicle unless the slide bracket locking wedges are fully engaged and the landing legs are fully retracted, as this can damage the tractor, the trailer, and the landing legs. Finally, check to make sure there is proper clearance between the top of the tractor tires and the bottom of the trailer before driving the vehicle. This successfully completes the proper coupling and sliding procedures for the Fontaine Ultra LT, HD, and HR family of wheels. Your vehicle is now ready for the road. Now let's turn our attention to the proper uncoupling procedure. First, make sure your tractor is aligned with the trailer on a flat level surface that can support the trailer and its contents. This is important because pulling out at an angle can damage the landing gear. Lock the trailer brakes and back slowly into the trailer to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaw. Now engage the parking brake while the tractor is pushing against the king pin. If your tractor is equipped with an air ride suspension, do not deflate prior to uncoupling. Doing so will make the fifth wheel very difficult to uncouple and could actually damage the fifth wheel and king pin. Next, chop the trailer wheels and lower the landing legs. If you have poor ground conditions, it may be necessary to provide a base for the landing legs. If you have an air ride suspension, lower the landing legs until they touch the ground, and then add one additional turn. If you have a spring suspension, give a few extra turns in low gear. Do not raise the trailer off the fifth wheel. Next, pull the fifth wheel handle all the way out, making sure the handle notch contacts the handle retainer that is welded to the skirt of the top plate. This will keep the handle fully extended and prevent it from retracting. Disconnect the electrical and air lines and secure them to the tractor. Now ease the tractor forward until the fifth wheel comes out from under the trailer. Let the trailer slowly slide down the fifth wheel approach ramps. If your vehicle is equipped with air ride suspension, this will allow the necessary time for it to adjust to the unloaded height. Stop with the tractor frame still under the trailer. This prevents the trailer from falling if the landing gear fails or sinks into the ground. Now engage the parking brake and place the transmission in neutral. Inspect to make sure the ground is properly supporting the trailer landing gear. Release the parking brake and slowly pull out from under the trailer. This successfully completes the proper uncoupling procedure. Remember, by following the proper coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures, for the Ultra LT, HD, and HR family of fifth wheels, you can count on Fontaine for safe, dependable performance mile after mile.